there's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Hope they won't shoot I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rear wheels so I don't accidentally cut into the tires and then I'm gonna cut out those fender wheels. Alright, and I think I'm just gonna follow the, the lines of the original fender. Um, I'll, I'll check out the wear marks on the inside here and just make sure I'm cutting what makes sense. But as far as I could tell, the tire was rubbing on the entire inside. And as soon as I'd lower it further, it would hit the top too. So at that point, it makes sense to me to cut out the entire fender. And I'll leave a little lip on the outside just to make sure I don't screw anything up on the body. but it looks pretty decent. Uh, definitely need to take some time to clean it up, but not right now. It's getting late. Just wanna put the wheel back on and see what it looks like laid out and then call it a night. I might have to actually cut out more. See some wear marks here. There and there. So I will have to cut further in. But I'm going to put the wheel back on and lower it down just to kind of see what it looks like now. But like I said, for tonight, going to call it. Start again in the morning. You can definitely tell, like I said, I'm going to have to cut out here. I really wish I had it in me to do it tonight, but I don't. And the neighbors might be pissed off, I don't know. So I'm just gonna slowly lower it and just kind of see what the clearance is looking like. Getting close, but still okay. Probably. Huh. Still okay, but really close. There we have some contact. Yep. Everything else I cut out looks like it was pretty perfect. So I just need to clean up all the edges, cut out probably another two inches. Probably just follow this body or this uh, truck bed line right here, honestly. So I am gonna put some Detroit steel wheels that are gonna be 11 inches wide back here. So we'll definitely need more room. All right, so it's the next morning. Gonna go ahead and get back after this and cut out this fender well a little bit wider and then cut out the other one. And then we'll lay out this back end and see what it looks like. It's cold and windy today. Kind of hard to be motivated, but we'll go ahead and get started and today I'm actually gonna use some PPE like I should be with some hearing protection and a mask for particulates. I need to get better at that. All right, let's see how low she goes. Looks like I've got enough cut out for sure. I say that with caution, 100% positive. Uh, should be enough cut out in that fender well, so this should drop pretty damn low. So here we go
Yeah, it sits nice. I'm happy. I did cut out probably a little more than I needed to, but I'd rather have just that extra inch and a half, two inches of clearance all the way around, honestly. And once I put those 11 inch wide Detroit steel wheels, it'll probably need all that space. So I did, I was thinking about that while I was cutting. I'd rather not have to cut twice, you know? But yeah, I'm definitely pleased with how that turned out, how it sits. Um, yeah, so I guess now I gotta do the same to the other side. And I will not record that again, just because there's no reason to duplicate the process. I'll catch back up with you once I've got the other side cut out. And then I guess we'll decide where to uh, mount the tank and compressor and run those lines. And then we can take this thing out of the garage. Can't wait to see how it sits on all fours. It's completely slammed. Pretty pumped for that. So I'll get to work. And like I said, I'll catch back up once I've got that other fender well cut out and we'll move forward. All right, I'm back. I got both fender wells cut out and all the clearance is good. I did lay it out flat, but I'm not gonna show you yet because it doesn't do it justice in the garage. So now I need to find a spot to mount. Obviously the compressor and the little two and a half gallon tank here. So just figuring out my hardware because it didn't come with hardware. I think, it, I think it came with hardware for the compressor, but that's it. Um, we'll see if I even use what they gave me. So I'm thinking I'm gonna mount everything right here, but from the bottom, there's seems to be a good spot. So I'll mount the air tank right to the bed. And then I think I'll mount the air compressor to the frame there. So just gonna figure that out and get that started. Can't wait to get this thing plumbed in and pulled out of the garage. So like I said, right now it's sitting on the transmission cross member. I'm a simple man. So I'm just using RTV red on these brackets on this tank and I'm gonna mock it up. I've got two jack stands under there to set the tank on. And then once I get it positioned, I'll just push it up to make those marks on where to drill the holes. Um, to me, that's the easiest way. I know you could measure and figure it out that way, but like I said, I'm simple. This will do the trick. Well, I guess first figure out, you know, which of these ports to plug and which makes sense to be um, where the fittings will go for the airline. All right, so I'm gonna put in some plugs on some of these ports. I don't have a drain valve for it yet. I was gonna order a pet cock, but it was on back order, so figured they'll be easy enough to do after the fact. Hoping these jack stands provide enough downward pressure on those bolts that when I push the tank up to mount it, it doesn't push them up or through if I didn't have them there. So see how good of an idea that actually is. Okay, I'll stop being an idiot and I will grab my jack and lift this tank up with the jack.
All right, finally got the compressor and tank mounted. That took way longer than it should have, but I'm happy with how it turned out. Viair air compressors are oilless, so technically you can mount them in any position, but Viair does recommend not mounting them upside down because heat rises and obviously that affects the cooling. So now I gotta remove the old fittings from these rear bags. Like I said, it's got the um, barbed fittings and regular hose. So I need to pull that off and install uh, just the same quarter inch push fittings I got on the front. That shouldn't be too bad. Then after that, start plumbing everything together.